You good girl. Snacking on some beef jerky. Also, my hair. <laughs> Look at all that regrowth. That is insane. Um, anyway, welcome to, this is technically the last week of NaNoWriMo, but I haven't nano nanoed. So this is just, I guess, the end of the month. <laughs> Another writing vlog, productive vlog. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like I'm cheating because I haven't written anything, but whatever. Um, I know that there's other people in the same boat as me and I'm totally fine being where I'm at and I'm happy with how much I've worked on my outline. I've already said that before. Anyway, um, I haven't even taken off my coat. Today's like the coldest day in Florida this season so far. I think it's cold today. It's cold. Um, but I just got home from work. Work has been crazy. I'm supervisor this week, so it's been a little crazy. But the first thing on the agenda for today, I am gonna work on my outline tonight, and then, um, but before that, tomorrow, so this is, I'm filming on Tuesday, so Wednesday, tomorrow, my um, new book, my novella, The Architect of Elysia, comes out, so, and it's free. It's going to be in your mailbox if you're on my um, mailing list. You're going to get it for free. By the time this goes up, you should have already gotten it. So um, if you should have already gotten it. If you don't have it in your inbox, make sure you check your junk mail. Um, you can add my email. I'll put it right here to your like safe list or I don't know, your favorites, your contacts list, whatever your email service calls it. Um, because sometimes it does get filtered as junk mail because it it has words like free and like gimmicky sounding words so be sure to add that so you get your book um and then there's also a link down below so it's only in ebook format it's free for my mailing list that's the only way that you can get this book um and if you don't have an e-reader of any kind any tablet or phone can get the free amazon kindle app um, so I'll put a link down below. It is an affiliate link, so I get like a little bit of a kickback if you use that link. Um, it's free for you though, if you don't have to pay for anything. It's not like a subscription service or anything. Um, but yeah, I have to get everything finalized and prepped for that. So I have to pretty much export all of that. Um, I have to upload it into Scrivener and then export it. That's the, that's how I compile all my stuff is with Scrivener. So I don't know if there's another one. I don't know of another way to do it because that's how I've always done it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm eating beef jerky right now. <laughs> uh, it's like family tradition. We always make beef jerky during the holidays. I'm going to have some of my yogurt because yes, your girl made yogurt. I don't know if I said that in a vlog last week, but I made my own Greek yogurt. Like what? Um, with the Instant Pot. By the way. My jacket still zips. <laughs> uh, it barely zips though. Like there's not much more room in there. I'm gonna enjoy this. Get to work. Try to get Kira inside. When it's cold, she just stands outside for ever, and she never wants to come in. But husky life. But yeah. First up, feed baby, and then we're gonna get to work. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Expectantly waiting for beef jerky. That you're never gonna get. Yeah, see, my hand's empty. I ate it all already. You poor babies. Is mommy being mean? Oh my goodness. What is it? Oh, don't blame yourself. You trying to blame yourself. Quit blaming yourself. Oh, what is that? Look how beautiful she is. She likes to get her butt scratched. And then she walks while she does it. Oh my goodness. 
I knew it was coming. You had something to say. Yes, that is an elliptical behind me. Um, Houston, we already have a problem. Um, apparently, I forgot that the most recent version of my novella is um, at my work. And I am not going back today, so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do about that because I, it's pretty much all the edits from my proofreader, so it's not like I can't not have it. And it's a novella, so it's quicker to go through, so I could go through all those edits again today and redo them, but I edited like some of the meat, like line edits. I know I changed some stuff and it disappeared. Kira's whining, she's over there. I don't know where I just pointed on the camera. Uh, yeah. You're whining, I'm whining. Because I can't believe I did that. I was feeling so good. But I don't wanna go back to work, I can. She smells the beef jerky. Now I gotta wash my hands. How does it taste? Is that really good? Are you gonna bite me? Are you gonna eat me? Sorry for my dog baby voice. <laughs> I don't realize how I talk to my dogs until I listen back on the video. So, okay. Usually I have it on Google Drive, so I don't know what happened. Don't ask me what happened. Must be on a Word document, which, ooh, ooh, our computers recently got wiped. I hope it didn't get deleted. Oh my gosh. If it did, I'm not gonna know what I missed besides the proofread stuff. Lord, help me. Help me. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out. <laughs> The next day as you probably noticed from my outfit change um, forgive my crazy hair it's always crazy I don't know what to tell you about it um, I managed to find um, I left you guys off on a tense note where I didn't know where my novella was <laughs> basically and um, I found it it was on my computer I actually went to work and tried to find it and it wasn't on my computer and I looked at the beginning of the day for like 20 minutes or something ridiculous couldn't find it and then at the end of the day I thought to look in the recycle bin on my computer it was in there thankfully I was able to restore it hallelujah but I still had to go through because um, I'm gonna reach a stopping point in a second but I was able to restore it. <laughs> Thankfully, Kira says hello, not to us or me, to Steven. But I had to still add some changes because I thought it was in a Google Doc and it wasn't. And I had been editing that one and not the correct one. So I still had to go through it, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, actually, no, right now I'm compiling it and trying to figure out the settings to compile it from Scrivener because I can't remember. <laughs> I thought I had saved it as a preset, but apparently I didn't. Um, so I'm almost finished with this, and yeah, I'm super happy I was able to find the correct document, which which like incorporated all of the proofread edits that I did, that I got back from the proofreader, and some other edits, so um, yeah. That was a major, a big relief. <laughs> to find that. Yep, I'm almost done previewing it right now. I don't know if you can see that. If you're not on my newsletter, um, get on it. You get on it and you get this book all free. 
not have to pay anything for it. Um, a download link is just sent to you. So I'm gonna finish compiling this and I'm super glad I was able to find that. So maybe, maybe I'll get a day or two of writing for NaNoWriMo in <laughs> because this kind of took priority. So yeah, maybe once this is done, I can actually write something. Here, what time is it? <coughs> it's seven o'clock, which means you have to go pee. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> You've been whining at me for about 10 minutes. Go enjoy the freezing weather. Y'all, I'm about to light a new candle. Um, this is the Frosted Cranberry Candle. I'm super excited. It smells absolutely delicious. Um, this is supposed to be my November candle, but I couldn't stop using this one. Uh, oh, you can't really read it. The pumpkin apple one is like perfectly pumpkin-y, not too spiced, not too sweet. So this one's been my favorite and I've had to stop myself from using it so I don't blow through the whole thing. But now it's time for this one. Candles, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about Christmas memories oh oh la 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 oh 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 la 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 oh 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 la 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 making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents okay so it's time for us to get honest about NaNoWriMo um sorry I shook the camera in particular, how many words I wrote. And I'm gonna spoil it for the thumbnail. And um, I didn't write anything. So, or for the title for this video. Rocky, what are you doing? Drinking my green smoothie, by the way. Um, so, I didn't write anything. No new words. I had hoped and planned for at least the last week of November to write something, to write some words, but but unfortunately, I didn't get to that. I didn't get to write anything. So I wanted to take a second to um, just address that. That's a pretty big elephant in the room. I did NaNoWriMo vlogs, and I didn't write a single word. I still, still, I'm just making up words. Um, I still worked on my book a lot. I made a lot of progress on it and I'm super proud of that. Particularly in the second and third weeks, I did. I made a lot of progress on my outline and figuring things out. So I'm in a way better position than I was in at the beginning of the month. And I'm super proud of that, even though I didn't write a single word. So this is going out to all y'all who are in the same boat as me and you didn't write a single word. If you finished Nano and you won Nano, congratulations. Um, congratulations to everybody who participated in general though because it's like a, a promise to take your novel more seriously and I think a lot of people even if you didn't um, write a single word like me like you write a new single new word on your manuscript you still made a promise to take it more seriously and that's a step so 
even if you didn't work on your outline, maybe you thought about it more, um, hopefully not in like a guilty way, but maybe you just thought about it and brainstormed more throughout the month than you would have had you not made the promise to participate. I didn't write a single word for NaNoWriMo and I'm still happy. I am still really proud of what I did for the outline and oh. <clears throat> so other things that I did accomplish this month, um, in addition to working on my outline a lot, um, we've made a lot of good steps on the nursery. I don't know if you can tell, you can kind of actually tell. These walls are now no longer matching these walls because we're painting the entire house this gray color. So we finished this, which maybe I can show you now. I think I've tried to show it in the vlog before and you just couldn't see it, but um, we finally finished that entryway. You guys know for years that thing looked terrible. I'll see if I can find an image from a previous vlog. Um, but yeah, the plan is to do that in the whole, we're gonna have to get scaffolding for some of the taller parts in our, in our living room. I'm almost finished painting the nursery. Actually, once I finish filming this, I am going to go work on the last little bit and I'm super excited. I'm doing a mural on one wall, so I can't wait to unveil it to you guys. I'm filming the whole thing, um, me doing it. So which I haven't figured out if I'll do like all the nursery. I'll probably do that. I'll probably do all of the nursery and totally finish the nursery before I do like a nursery review. And I know it's not writing related, but I just want to do it. So it's kind of just like going to be a vlog, regular vlog. Kind of like these because I didn't write in these videos, but you know, I still made them. Anyway, nesting has been a little stressful for me. Everywhere I look, I feel like I'm like, I need to do that, I need to do this, I need to do this. On the house, on our stuff. Sorry, Rocky's moaning and groaning in the background. But I feel like that's pulling me away from my writing and like, it's almost a distraction. It's a needed distraction because I do need to prepare for baby, but it's still something that keeps pulling my attention away and making me want to put writing on the back burner. So in essence, November turned out to be not a month that I could really focus on writing. I would have liked to do a little bit more, but like I said, I'm still really happy with what I did. And we worked on a lot of other things and we had a lot of other stuff going on. Um, so I'm thinking that December is actually gonna be a little better for my writing and I'm gonna be able to fit it in a lot, a lot more. Because once we finish painting the nursery, that's kind of like, it was a time consuming thing um, that I obviously want to get done ASAP because it's like the first step, first thing that needs to be done. So um, once that's finished, I feel like everything else is kind of like, oh, we have time, you know, we can kind of like piece together things. I really like how my novella was, which by the way, um, I sent it out, it's free, people are loving it, which I'm super excited about. It's like the weirdest book release I've ever done because it was like a half release almost because I didn't like market it. I didn't, I'm like, I wasn't, I didn't say that much about it. But anyway, um, people are really loving it, which I'm really loving and I'm super excited about. But with the novella, I didn't have any deadlines. I didn't, I purposely didn't give myself any deadlines. I just kind of like, I just sat down and tried to write it. And um, except for the first draft, the first draft I did have a deadline but the whole rest of it, editing and all that stuff, which editing is more stressful for me. I, I it was like, it was amazing. So I'm trying to do that with the Illusion Prophecy and um, the second book anyway. And I already have half of it written. So it's gonna take, I think I'm gonna have to start from the beginning and sort of like go through and edit and fill in more details until I get to that point where I stopped writing and then finished writing because I obviously need to refresh my memory. It was a year ago that I wrote the, the first half, so. I think that's the plan for December. I would really like to at least get the first draft done before baby comes, because things are gonna get put on hold for a little while, and I'm gonna have to figure out my YouTube channel. I'm still working on that, on what I'm gonna do when baby comes. Um, but anyway, if you guys want to see vlogs during the month of December, just let me know. Um, I don't really know if you guys, if it's motivating for you or um, maybe just let me know what kind of content you like to see in the vlogs. If you do want to see vlogs, I, I'm i not sure if I would do two videos a week, like a regular writing video and 
a vlog or if I would do like a vlog every other week, I might do that. So I have like two. Um, just let me know what you guys want. I make this content for you guys, so I wanna make sure that it's content that you like. I'm gonna leave it at that. You can kinda see my gut in this picture. My gut, my baby belly. Um, I feel like it's gotten a lot bigger. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys really quick. Um, it's gotten so much bigger. So I'm 26 weeks, 26 and a half weeks pregnant. Go on. So I'm 26 and a half weeks pregnant. And I feel like in the last week, two weeks, my belly's gotten huge. Like, I don't know if it shows up on camera looking like significantly bigger, but I feel like my belly is huge now. Um, and it's not even that big, but, but baby is definitely stronger. And when it kicks, like I can feel it on, I can feel the equal and opposite uh, reaction <laughs> for every action that it does. So if it's kicking over here, I can feel like, I don't know if it's its head or if it's kind of like its back, probably its head. Um, but yeah, 11, still having a good pregnancy. Everything's going smooth. And yeah, speaking of which, I need to take my prenatals because I skipped them yesterday. God bless you. Oh my goodness, bless you. Whoa, bless you, bless you. What's going on? You eat, whoa. Uh-huh. He's gonna get your toy. <gasps> he got it. You only had to wait an hour. Is it your favorite? Get the toy. What? Uh-oh. Who's gonna get it? Rocky's got it. <laughs> what happened? You you lost it. I just realized I didn't sign off, so um I hope you all had a fantastic November. I hope you thought about your book, you wrote your book, you outlined your book. I hope you did something on your book. And if you didn't get the opportunity to, there's always next year, there's always July, um, actually April and July. There's Camp Nanowrimos if you wanna do that. Or you can just continue on with your writing endeavors. It doesn't have to be during Nanorimo, like I'm gonna do in December and try to write as much as I can because baby probably won't let me write that much for a little while. So I will see you maybe in a week or two in a vlog or in a regular writing video because I'm trying to get back into those. I've got a lot of content coming y'all's way. Also, the novella is free for my newsletter. Um, I will be making a whole video on that, like marketing purposes, why I chose to make it free and the results of it, maybe in about two months or so. I wanna give it some time to percolate and see how it does. Anyway, I will see you guys uh, at the most in about a week from this video. So yeah, I'll be 27 weeks then. Sorry if I keep like over talking about baby, but I'm just excited about it. <laughs> All right, bye guys. She's gonna be down there forever. Holy crap. Yep, I look pregnant there. Definitely look pregnant. <laughs>